let's get right into it. Number 9. Bessler's Wheel In the early 1700s, a man named Johann Bessler claimed to have built a wheel that could spin on its own forever without any outside force. Known as Bessler's Wheel, it fascinated noble scientists and engineers who traveled to see the strange invention. Witnesses said the wheel turned continuously lifting weights and even pumping water. Some swore it kept moving for weeks at a time, locked away in a room with no one touching it. So why did it vanish? The idea of perpetual motion has always been controversial. According to the laws of physics, no machine can run forever without energy. Many experts of the time believed Bessler was hiding a trick inside the wheel. When critics pressed him to reveal the secret, he refused hoping to sell the design for a fortune. Sadly, no one ever bought it, and when Bessler died in 1745, the secret, if there was one, died with him. Still, the mystery has never gone away. Modern researchers have tried to recreate the wheel, and debates continue online. Some believe it was just clever engineering, while others insist it could prove hidden principles of energy we still do not understand. If Bessler's wheel really worked, it might still change the world. A machine that could run without fuel would mean endless clean power for everyone. We may never know the truth, but the possibility keeps the legend alive. Number 8. Hanging Gardens of Babylon's Irrigation The Hanging Gardens of Babylon are one of the most famous wonders of the ancient world. Ancient writers described them as a lush paradise of trees and flowers rising high above the city walls in the middle of the desert. If they were real, the key to their survival was not just beauty, but an irrigation system far ahead of its time. Imagine a network of pumps channels and maybe even spiral screws lifting water from the Euphrates River to the top terraces and letting it cascade down to feed every plant. So why did this invention disappear? Some historians doubt the gardens ever existed at all, since no solid ruins have been found. Others believe they did exist, but were destroyed by war or time, and their technology was lost with them. Without written plans, we are left only with descriptions that sound almost too advanced for the 6th century BC. The mystery is what keeps the story alive. Modern engineers have debated how such a system could work using simple machines, yet strong enough to move tons of water daily. Some argue that the gardens could not be built without knowledge we only rediscovered thousands of years later. If the irrigation of Babylon were rebuilt today, it might still change the world. A system that could green desserts without modern fuel or power could help solve food shortages and water crises in our time. Number 7. Damascus Steel For centuries, warriors prized Damascus steel blades for their beauty and power. These swords had a flowing water-like pattern on the blade, and were said to cut through iron or silk with the same ease. Legend spread of weapons so sharp they could slice a hair in midair and yet remain unbroken in battle. The secret process came from the Middle East around the medieval period and soon became a treasure across Europe and Asia. But this miracle metal suddenly vanished. By the 18th century, the art of forging true Damascus steel was lost. Historians believe the decline of trade routes cut off access to the special ores from India that contained unique impurities. Without them, the technique could not be reproduced. Others think the craftsmen kept their secrets so closely guarded that when their lines ended, the knowledge simply died with them. Modern scientists have tried again and again to rediscover the formula. Microscopic studies show traces of carbon nanostructures inside surviving blades, something that sounds more like modern science than medieval blacksmithing. Yet no one has perfectly recreated the same strength and elegance. If Damascus steel returned, it might still change the world. Stronger, lighter metals could revolutionize everything from medicine to space travel. The mystery of how ancient blacksmiths achieved what we still cannot explain is why the legend of Damascus steel continues to captivate us. Number 6. Starlight Material In the 1980s, a British hairdresser and amateur inventor named Morris Ward shocked the world with a strange white material he called starlight. In live demonstrations, it resisted the heat of a blowtorch that could melt steel. It protected an egg so completely that even after minutes under direct flame, the egg could be picked up cool to the touch and later cracked open still raw inside. Scientists and the media were amazed calling it one of the greatest safety breakthroughs ever seen. So why did Starlight disappear? 
Ward refused to sell the formula to large companies fearing they would exploit it or keep it secret. He guarded the recipe closely and claimed only his family could inherit it. When he passed away in 2011, no official record of the material's composition was ever found. Without documents or samples, the world was left only with memories of those unbelievable demonstrations. Yet the fascination continues. Some researchers believe Starlight was based on simple plastics combined in a clever way, while others think Ward truly created a substance far beyond modern fire-resistant materials. If rediscovered, it could protect spacecraft buildings and even human lives in disasters. If Starlight material returned, it might still change the world. Fireproof coatings on planes, cars, or even homes could save millions. A miracle invention lost to secrecy may still hold the power to transform the future. Number 5. Cold Fusion Experiments In 1989, two chemists Martin Fleischmann and Stanley Ponce announced something that sounded like science fiction. They claimed to have achieved cold fusion, a way to release nuclear energy at room temperature without the deadly heat and radiation of traditional fusion. If true, it meant almost unlimited clean power from simple materials like water. Their press conference made headlines around the world, and many believed a new energy age had begun. But the dream collapsed quickly. When other laboratories tried to repeat the experiment, most could not get the same results. Critics accused the scientists of mistakes or even fraud. Governments pulled funding, and the scientific community declared cold fusion impossible. The phrase itself became a joke in physics. Fleischmann and Ponce were disgraced, and the project was abandoned. Still, the mystery never fully died. Some small groups continued secret research, and a few claimed to see strange bursts of energy that could not be explained. Today, new versions of the idea are being tested under the name Low Energy Nuclear Reactions. While mainstream science remains skeptical, the hope refuses to fade. If cold fusion experiments ever proved real, they might still change the world. Endless clean energy would mean no more oil wars, no more carbon emissions, and power for every corner of the planet. The promise is too great to ever completely forget. Number 4. Nuclear-Powered Cars In the 1950s, car makers dreamed of a future where vehicles would never need gas stations. The most famous concept was the Ford Nucleon, a sleek car designed to run on a small nuclear reactor in the back. Advertisements promised it could travel thousands of miles without refueling. In an age when nuclear energy was seen as the power of tomorrow, the idea of a family car fueled by atomic science captured the imagination of the public. But reality struck hard. Engineers quickly realized the dangers of driving around with a reactor inside a car. Safety was impossible to guarantee, and building such engines small enough was beyond the technology of the time. The project was quietly abandoned and the Ford Nucleon remained only a futuristic model on display. As nuclear accidents like Chernobyl later showed, the risks would have been enormous. Still, the dream lingers. Scientists are once again exploring compact nuclear technologies, from small modular reactors to new fuels that are safer than uranium. Some believe a secure version could one day power ships, planes, or even large vehicles. If nuclear-powered cars ever became practical, they might still change the world. Imagine cities free of smog, highways without gas stations, and travel powered by nearly limitless energy. The Ford Nucleon may have been a fantasy, but it points to a possibility the world has not fully closed the door on. Number 3. Persian Wind Towers Long before air conditioning was invented, Persian builders found a way to cool their homes in the heat of the desert. They created tall structures called wind towers, or badgiers, that captured even the faintest breeze and funneled it into the rooms below. Combined with underground water channels, the system cooled entire houses and even stored food without burning any fuel. For people living in some of the hottest climates on Earth, this technology was nothing short of miraculous. So why did it fade away? As modern electricity spread, Fans and air conditioners replaced the old towers. They were faster, easier to control, and fit the dream of modern living. Traditional methods were forgotten, left to crumble as relics of the past. Yet many of those old towers still stand. Silent reminders that simple natural design once solved problems we still face today. Architects and engineers have recently returned to study them. Modern versions have been built into schools, 
offices, and eco-friendly homes, proving the concept still works. In an age of climate change, energy shortages, and rising temperatures, the idea feels more urgent than ever. If Persian wind towers were revived on a wide scale, they might still change the world. Cooling entire cities without electricity could save billions in energy and drastically cut carbon emissions. What once kept ancient deserts habitable may one day help us survive the future. Number 2. Mithridatium In the 1st century, B.C. King Mithridates VI of Pontus lived in constant fear of poison. Arounded by enemies and betrayal, he became obsessed with creating the ultimate antidote. He ordered his physicians to mix dozens of plants, minerals, and animal parts into a single potion that he took every day. The mixture became known as Mithridatium, and legends claimed it could protect against any poison. Some even said the king was so resistant that when he later tried to take his own life, the poison had no effect. So, what happened to this universal cure? After the death of Mithridates, the recipe spread across the Roman world. Doctors and rulers kept their own versions, but over centuries the original formula was altered and finally lost. Some medieval texts describe it as containing dozens of exotic ingredients ground into a thick paste. Without a clear recipe, it faded into myth and mystery. The fascination has never gone away. Modern historians and pharmacologists have studied the surviving descriptions to guess what might have been inside. Some ingredients like opium or honey have real medicinal value, while others remain symbolic. No one knows whether Mithridatium truly worked or if it was a powerful placebo. If rediscovered, it might still change the world. A broad-spectrum antidote could revolutionize medicine, protect against chemical warfare, and even inspire new treatments for toxins. The dream of a cure all has haunted humanity for 2,000 years and still refuses to die. Number 1. Mayan Rubber Processing Centuries before modern chemistry, the Maya learned how to turn the sap of rubber trees into a material that was both strong and flexible. By mixing it with juice from the morning glory vine, they discovered a natural process that made rubber durable instead of brittle. With this secret, they created balls for their sacred games, waterproof shoes, and even bindings for tools and weapons. In a world without plastics, this invention was revolutionary. So, why was it forgotten? When European explorers arrived, they saw the strange bouncing balls but never learned the recipe. Colonization and disease soon destroyed much of Mayan knowledge, and the technique vanished with it. By the time rubber was rediscovered centuries later in South America, the original method of mixing plants had already been lost. Modern vulcanization would not come until Charles Goodyear in the 19th century. Yet the achievement still amazes scientists today. Tests show the Mayan process produced different types of rubber by adjusting the mixture, from tough soles to elastic sports balls. It proves ancient people understood natural chemistry at a level long underestimated. If Mayan rubber processing returned, it might still change the world. A sustainable plant-based alternative to modern plastics could reduce pollution and reshape industries. What began in ancient forests might still hold the key to solving one of the greatest challenges of our future. That's all for today. I'll be making similar videos in the future. Subscribe to see them.